So, hello, Paleen. Let's start with your mock PI. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Great. So, Paleen, I would like you to uh, start with your introduction. All right. Um, just a brief introduction about myself. My name is Paleen Anhotra and I, I'm from Gurgaon. And I recently completed my graduation in BSc Honours Computer Science from Delhi University. And currently I'm working as an intern at PwC India. Um, apart from academics, apart from career orientation, um, I am someone who uh, loves uh, learning more about new cultures i am um, i am the middle child at home so i have an elder sister and a younger brother and i've been maneuvering a lot of things from a very young age also i'm a big people's person i love communicating and um, knowing more about um, just people's views and ideologies apart from that i am also really big i'm a really big foodie myself and i love cooking a lot and uh, I'm also pursuing uh, some basic level of content creation on Instagram just as a creative outlet for myself. So that would be a basic introduction. That's amazing, Paleen. So uh, as you mentioned that you love to learn about different cultures. So can you elaborate on that? All right, definitely. Um, I think my love for... Um, you know, different cultures started very young. I was very, definitely very privileged to get the exposure of attending an international competition in class nine. I was representing my country and my school in the World Scholars Cup uh, in the global round in Thailand. So uh, it was like the gateway of, uh, you know, a, a different world for me altogether. Um, it was an understanding for me um, to know what lies beyond and what different cultures are there. At the same time, promoting my own culture and bringing my own, uh, uh, my own unique background into the mix. Um, after that, um, I've al also always loved listening to Korean pop music and watching Korean dramas, which actually um, boosted a lot in the lockdown. So I, I took up a small uh, certification course in Korean and I can read and understand basic level. And apart from that, I also learned French at school. So um, definitely learning a lot of languages is one of my goals. I want to become a very fluent polyglot who understands and speaks a lot of languages. And apart from that, traveling is also also, uh, you know, another gateway of um, learning a lot about different cultures. Um, I would love to travel, you know, internationally also, but also locally to understand different parts of uh, different cultural backgrounds of India and our country. So I think that would be my answer. That's amazing, Paleen. So one more question. You mentioned that you have completed BSc Computer Science, right? Yes. Yeah. So I would like you to highlight your academic achievements. All right. Um, uh, firstly, uh, sadly for my batch, um, half of our college life was virtual due to the pandemic. So 1.5 years of college life was spent behind a screen and barely interacting with our peers. But thankfully, once college opened up, um, it was a different world altogether. Definitely a step up from the school that we were used to. Um, so definitely it's been a learning curve. I've been uh, really interested in the IT part of it and seeing how I can integrate the use of technology in today's time. And uh, some of the subjects that I learned were um, uh, the from the top of my head, I really loved machine learning and artificial intelligence. And I'm actually really glad that these latest trends and topics were inculcated in our course as well. Apart from that, during my college time, I was also part of the computer science uh, society and I, I was also one of the flag bearers. And we had also um, hosted various webinars, seminars and also the department fest, which uh, definitely brought the entire batch together, but also at the same time promoted uh, what are the latest happenings in the tech world to not only our college friends, but also to the guest lecturers and everyone in attendance. Um, but definitely uh, academics wise, it was a great journey for me. That's amazing, Paleen. So like why MBA then? Um, okay. So uh, I believe uh, during my course, I understood that thankfully, first of all, my course was more theoretical than practical. And I understood that while I do like coding, it's not something I would see myself do in a long term career. Since I already mentioned I'm a very a big people's person, um, I understood that I want something that is a bit more client facing. Um, uh, I did my own research of it. I talked to my peers, my seniors, even my some of my relatives to understand a perspective of what's going on um, career-wise, what I can do in the future as well. 
Um, another major factor that influenced me was I also joined um, ISIC in Delhi University, which is a youth-run, UN-based, organi- UN-recognized organization, where um, we work towards sending students on cultural exchanges around the world. So I joined it as a mere member just for exposure for six months. But after that, I applied for the post of a team leader, where I managed a team of my own for the first time. It was a team of uh, four people, but uh, definitely four is can be a lot when it's the first team and it opened an insight into what management could actually look like and even though this uh, experience was entirely unrelated to my course I went ahead with it because I found uh, that I was actually good at it and I enjoyed doing what I was doing. Um, Flashback forward I applied for the role of vice uh, president and I actually became the head of products for a year my tenure lasted a year and um, It was in that one year that I learned how to manage everything from uh, product funnel, product life cycle, handling stakeholders, even handling finances, how to run operations. And I led multiple teams and uh, I actually directed, uh, I actually led directly 70 plus people. So I think that experience was an entirely unique thing for me to ever go through. Hence, I um, also like parallelly, parallelly, I was doing my course. Um, BSc computer science. So I think that is when I understood that an amalgamation of both management and uh, technical skills is something I can see myself do in the future. So research, um, after doing a lot of research, and I came to the conclusion of that maybe MBA is the vital step in my academic and career journey. um, In order to become, uh, in order to become the product manager, I envision to be somewhere down the line. So I think that would answer your question. That's amazing, Paleen. And that's it from my end. I would like uh, Vipu sir to ask next question to you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yes. So, Paleen, we can, uh, if a computer engineer uh, goes for an MBA. All right. Is it, is it not a waste of resources? Is it not a waste of resources of the government and even uh, your efforts? Um, so I definitely understand your uh, viewpoint where the question is coming from. But I believe in order to understand what we are good at, in order to understand what we would like to continue, a person has to experience various things. If uh, the person, if a computer engineer had not gone through the engineering route, he might have not understood the potential or uh, you know what lies ahead for him. And I definitely don't think it is a waste of the resources or the potential because at the end of the day, every experience counts. It shapes who you are as a person and it shapes the pathway ahead for you. So in my opinion, definitely, sir, I think it is um, uh, your uh, journey matters and as as your journey matters as much as your endpoint does so it does not matter if you go to go through the direct route whether you take some uh, left turns or right turns or maybe you are misled in the way but as as long as the journey is fruitful and meaningful and it has impact on you i think definitely so it is not a waste of resources okay See, even i think you mentioned the product manager role in the future that makes sense um a product manager means you need to have a management skills and you need to have a product skill. Basically, you need to have an understanding of the product. Yes, but sir. The problem, the problem with the whole scenario is that product manager usually they have a very good career growth in the uh, junior level and even the middle level. But when we say senior level, uh, we don't see many product managers becoming CEOs or mm-hmm. handling the total department. Well, the only department they handle is the product. I'll give an example to you. Let's say, if you pick any corporate, uh, if you look at uh, the HODs, uh, there will be only one person who is the product uh, head. But a yeah. MBA can be a sales head, can be a marketing head, can be a CEO, can be strategic head, can be even uh, 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 maybe market uh, expansion head. So there can be many th- roles which an MBA can handle. But as a product manager, if you're carving your future in, then um, it will have a very good run in the junior and the middle level. But senior level, usually it will land into a problem. Even if you looked at the LinkedIn, any of the corporates you will look at. Mm-hmm. You try to see how many departments the product people are heading. Okay, that, that's a different of a point. Um, okay. Now, as a computer science, we'll say a computer science the person mm. is good in maths, we can say, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, okay. You have given the cat. 
यस सर अच्छा ओके लेट्स से कैट जैसे ही टेस्ट है ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन है देर फोर ऑप्शन है यस सर वॉट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ मी फॉर एनी वन मार्किंग ट्वेंटी करेक्ट and eight wrong if i'm guessing all the all the questions i don't know any of the answer i'm guessing all the questions 20 question hai char hmm. options hai mujhe 20 mein se 12 right karne hai eight wrong karne hai uska probability kya hai probability for that sir can i take a minute haan ji even take your pen pencil and paper all right sir मैं हिंट दे देता हूँ बहुत इजी है आप आपको पेन पेंसिल चाहिए ना प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ मार्किंग इट करेक्ट कितना है एक क्वेश्चन का कितना है एक क्वेश्चन वन बाय फोर रॉन्ग का थ्री बाय फोर अब अब इजी हो नॉलेज इक्वेशन लग रहा है यस सर क्या होगा इट विल बी ट्वेल्व बाय फोर प्लस ट्वेल्व बाय ट्वेल्व इंटू वन बाय फोर प्लस एट इंटू थ्री बाय फोर कॉम्बिनेशन यूज करो स्ट्रेट इतना सो आई वाज आई वाज आई ऑलवेज कॉम्बिनेशन परमिटेशन माय वीक पॉइंट्स आई वुड डू इट यूजिंग द बेसिक्स ओनली देखो मैथ स्किल तो चाहिए होगा एमबीए में मैथ स्किल्स और अगर ये कंप्यूटर साइंस जा रहा है डाइवर्सिटी पॉइंट में हम तो ये मानेंगे कि अगर कोई भी एम इंस्टीट्यूट लेगा तो ये मानेगा पर्लीन इज वेरी गुड मैथ्स दैट्स वाई शुड बी टेकन You have an advantage of being a, a lady and even a, a not an engineer. So it's a big advantage. But like maths, so it's not clear. So let's say easy or cut down. Go same question. Go easy. Cut it. Yes, sir. I'm just brushing up my um, my formulas and everything on the. No, no formula. Hey, no. Which I have asked question. Which I have no formula. No. Uh, formula question. I have asked question. Because reason being, I always I always check the IQ points. Okay. I never ask any. मैं ऐसा कोई क्वेश्चन किसी से इवन इंटरव्यू किसी के इंटरव्यू में नहीं पूछता हूँ जिसमें नॉलेज hmm. चाहिए माय अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज इफ यू आर गुड इन आई क्यू तो आप कुछ अचीव कर सकते हैं तो नॉलेज इज नॉट आई यू चेक आई चेक द आई क्यू एंड एटीट्यूड दैट्स द टू थिंग्स आई यू शुड लुक इसी क्वेश्चन को थोड़ा ओवर ईजी कर देते हैं uh, जैसे अभी ये इंटरव्यूज चल रहे हैं मान लेते हैं कि आप आम अहमदाबाद के इंटरव्यू में बैठे हैं उसमें मान लेते हैं कि थाउजेंड लोगों को बुलाया और दो सौ लोग सिलेक्ट होने और फोर्टी परसेंट रिजर्वेशन गर्ल्स की आपकी प्रोबेबिलिटी क्या होगा सक्सेस का सक्सेस का आउट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड पीपल टू हंड्रेड थाउजेंड पीपल आई हैव बीन आस्ट फॉर इंटरव्यू के लिए कॉल हुआ है यस सर टू हंड्रेड सीट्स हैं और फोर्टी परसेंट रिजर्वेशन है गर्ल्स के लिए So out of two hundred forty percent will be reserved for female candidates, which would be uh, around uh, one around eighty seats would be for women. So eighty upon one thousand eight point zero eight. Hmm. That's okay. Let me leave the maths now. Hmm. Uh, computer science class, right? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, um alan turing is a person alan turing is a computer science main guy yes, acha alan turing ka award bhi hota hai am i correct uh yes sir uh, sir according to my understanding alan turing he was he invented the turing machine which would which used to parse various uh, correct correct yes. fusion machine learning and he is yeah. considered as the father of computer science am i correct yes, yes sir okay okay Alan Turing के बारे में Uh, definitely sir like you mentioned he is also known as the the father of computer science and the turing award is similar to the nobel prize in the literary world and uh, like i previously mentioned he is mainly known for his uh, invention of the turing machine which is uh, which is used to parse 
um letters and uh, it was it is what has formed the basics of machine learning and um, artificial intelligence today because the basics of machine of artificial intelligence is uh, based upon uh, parsing the symbols and converting them into uh, some into an intelligent thought or um, sim- or similar uh, or used further as well so the turing machine um, i believe is one of his biggest uh, known inventions okay and what was the cause of death of alan turing cause of death um sir i do not know that at the moment that's the most i think um, um, talked about in the alan turing life when we talk about is okay. a cause of death it is a basically lgbt uh, uh, linked all right, all right. Um, i mentioned sir, definitely yeah he is he is he was a uk citizen and uh, there was some problem with lg at that time lgbt was not used to be considered the homosexuality <laughs> You should be not accepted in the society. Yes, sir. So he was uh, sentenced to death um, for uh, uh, for homosexuality, and oh. I think at forty two or forty three age he done died. Um, maybe suicide or that's an accident or whatever. Okay, I'll now I'm coming. Uh, okay, uh, what is the Internet of Things? Talk about Internet of Things. So the Internet of Things is a relatively newer term which talks about the connectivity of the internet uh, equipped devices. It uh, basically like uh, humans have internet, we use it to access and talk to each other, communicate with each other in real time. The Internet of Things is similar but but for devices that are for the smart devices for example uh, different computers connected in a network, they would be uh, connected through the the network itself would be called the Internet of Things. and what is the function of a function uh what is the in maths mein aata hai function of a function function of a function uh function in understand? yes sir function mm-hmm. i do understand uh see i'm checking you in maths and computer science that's what you have done na main aapke subjects mein ghoom raha hu yes so actually mainly my course was more uh, computer science theory related i did not have much of maths in it that's the basic difference you are a pcm topper of class 12 then yes, make yes 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 dekho aapko apne area to wo defend karna hai definitely jisme aap that is one main to main to aapko the question actually i was thinking was ki putting ki how to differentiate function of a function Func- all right differentiation you understand calculus and all to wo question main ye puchna chahta tha lekin aage nahi badh paya chaliye um acha now e aapne even isaac ka baat kiya tha Yes, इसमें आपने टीम मैनेजमेंट का भी बात किया था कैन यू टेल टेल व्हाट एग्जैक्टली यू लर्न इन द टीम मैनेजमेंट एज ए लीडर इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट टीम मैनेजमेंट लेट्स से आपकी टीम है आपने ये कहा ना चार लोगों की टीम थी आपका इनिशियली यस ओके सो लेट्स से फोर पीपल को आप यू शुड टीम मैनेजमेंट में एक बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज होता है वो होता है मोटिवेशन का डेफिनेटली अगर इंस्पिरेशन का मोटिवेशन तो सेल्फ होता है हाउ टू इंस्पायर द टीम ये बहुत बड़ा Um, issue होता है. Um, give me five ways to inspire team. Five ways to inspire team. All right, so I'll uh, start by giving some anecdotes which I experienced personally uh, in ISEC. Uh, definitely, one of the most challenging things for me was two things. First was how to keep my team motivated, and second was how to understand the art of delegation. in order to understand why a certain team member would want to contribute is uh, you'll have to understand why they joined in the first place if someone is properly motivate na aadmi khud ko karta hai yes dusre aadmi ko inspire karta hai all right so so your question was how to motivate your team or how to inspire your team whatever you see motivation you create a situation in which they are able to move you help them in motivation or you inspire Yes, that. आप इंस्पायर करते हैं वो खुद मोटिवेट होते हैं All right. So I'll create a situation. Let's say मैं इस तरह से आपको बोलता हूँ. I raise someone's salary. So okay, in a so... way, I'm inspiring and I'm even motivating him to work, isn't it? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Continue. Right. Uh, so uh, since I mentioned, Isaac is a youth-run, student-run organization. So there was no stipend anyone had. So whatever work we were doing was all voluntary basis. So definitely, one challenge was the art of delegation, and second was how do I keep my members interested enough so that they continue their term and not only continue but they perform operationally and learn something as well. Um, 
definitely uh, like i mentioned uh, we like making show sure, uh, you understand why the person has joined the team what are they looking to gain in the experience for example um, first uh, the very first team i led was sales based uh, but a few members were not really looking to understand how to uh, how to understand sales and pitching they were there to learn and they were there to network and ex- get exposure and probably participate in some social uh, social uh, uh, social projects as well so what i did from my end was i first of all i tried to uh, make sure that my team knows and interacts well with each other if in case they are facing any problem a team leader should be approachable enough that the member if any problem comes up they directly approach their leader instead of causing arguments within the team so that is something i make sh- made sure another thing was i wanted to uh deliver the the theory uh the the knowledge to the team members in a fun way that no, so that it not only they absorb but they also learn and then inculcate in the future so for, since i mentioned i was leading a sales team i uh, started a project called pitch perfect where after a few weeks where everyone has learned their sales and pitching uh, two members would be put up against each other and they would uh, you know first one person would pitch to the other and then the other person would do the vice versa so i think that was a very fun it, uh, activity that not only helped them improve their sales pitching from peer to peer learning but they also actually bonded so um, a few projects like these a team leader has to do in order to make sure that members are motivated and they are here and they're learning and taking back as much as possible from the role itself so um uh i think that would be that was my very first learning as a team leader further when i became the vice president i had a team of team leaders and a department as well so that it was four times the people i was handling previously so here when i was delegating tasks within the team leaders i would understand what their pain points are what we can do ahead and what the bottlenecks were and uh, peer to peer interaction definitely helps a lot um, if one person has a certain set of problems and not able to overcome them this would directly demotivate them and they would not be able to perform well but if they bring forth their problems and if a peer has a solution to it or maybe if they um, give some ideas and then they switch up their projects it might you never know it might really solve the problem solve the bottlenecks and then the the teams can move operationally in a smoother manner so peer to peer learning is also definitely something we should uh, try and inculcate in order to um motivate our people um i think mujhe ek point to samajh aaya ki communication is a key okay ek point to ye tha dusra point tha learning hmm ये दो पॉइंट्स आपने मेंशन किए अभी तक ना मैं मैं करूं यस सर पीयर टू पीयर लर्निंग कम्युनिकेशन द लर्निंग विल मोटिवेट आई अंडरस्टैंड इवन द कम्युनिकेशन विल मोटिवेट यू हैव अ गुड कम्युनिकेशन इट विल मोटिवेट यू व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट थोड़ा बुलेटेड बोलिए मुझे हां पूरा वो मुझे समझ नहीं है मुझे पॉइंट्स निकालने मुश्किल पड़ रही है ऑलराइट सो माय थर्ड पॉइंट वुड बी अ लीडर हैज टू has to showcase in actions because words can only do so much i want to find yes lead by example uh, i'll give an example my team was not really that out there in the local committee and people did not even know the names of certain members so in order to change that i made sure i would vocalize my thoughts in every meeting i would put forward my team members and that uh, made that boosted their confidence as well and they understood if our leader is doing something this should also be reflected within the team so we'll definitely lead by example this is another thing and like i mentioned previously fourth point would be um, one on one interaction with every member to understand what it is they want and so that you that's, can that's called communication that, that's already mentioned that's that already is communication all right yes. i i i believe it was uh, goal alignment uh, also um uh, another point you can take the fun uh, i got the point okay uh chale okay. la- la- last ek fun question puchta aapse fun maths okay uh quadratic equation ke minimum roots kitne hote hain four minimum roots are uh, four ho sakte hain koi root maximum bhi ho sakte hain four maximum is four uh quadratic equation ke minimum could be one also 
और क्वांटिटी मैक्सिमम कितना होता है मैक्सिमम इज फोर क्वांटिटी मीन्स पावर ऑफ टू है इज इट यस सर अल्फा बीटा एंड यस ऑल राइट मिनिमम कितना हो सकता है मिनिमम जीरो जीरो वन एंड टू आर द रूट्स चलिए ठीक है पूनम जी आप आप पूछे थैंक यू सर ओके ओके थैंक यू सर सो परलीन लेट अस टॉक अबाउट व्हाट यू वर यू डिस्कसिंग जस्ट नाउ टू अबाउट टीम नो सो इफ देयर इज अ कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग सिचुएशन इन अ टीम सो व्हाट वुड बी योर स्ट्रेटजी टू डील विद इट लाइक वुड यू लाइक टू आई मीन Uh, execute conflict management or would you look at it from conflict resolution perspective and why um um uh, ma'am i believe firstly i would uh, i would look for uh, a root cause for the conflict so definitely conflict management would be my first step first priority understanding where the conflict has ar- where it arose from understanding the viewpoints of the members involved and only once we understand all the viewpoints will we be able to move towards resolution of the conflict according to my understanding okay uh, do you think resolution is always possible it may not always be possible since uh, we are all have different opinions in different backgrounds what best we can do is uh, you know accept their viewpoint because we can't really expect everyone to be on the same page at every single moment uh, even in a team there would be people from all different backgrounds with all different skill sets uh, so they may not always be on the same page conflict resolution is the ideal solution but it may not always be feasible according to me correct correct so your next question is that i would like to focus on is about your general awareness no you you all you must have observed that india ha- has had some competitive advantages in the past no recently so how do you look at them like in what ways do you think that now in the recent past india has progressed and how it has developed into a you know what kind of competitive advantage does it enjoy as of now to which is taking it moving i mean which is helping it move progressively all right uh, thank you for your question ma'am um just from the top of my head uh, two main things come to my mind uh, due to which india has been uh, a big buzz word recently uh, first would be definitely the g20 summit that we hosted and second would be uh, the cricket world cup that we hosted as well uh, i think uh, india is uh, a, a very diverse country but a lot of people uh, come together when sports is talked about when especially cricket is talked about and india has definitely shown uh, its best hosting abilities with the latest um, the with the latest world cup that just concluded also G- with g20 being a forefront um, definitely i believe not only uh, globally but also locally we have seen a lot of progress for it um there's still a lot that can be done definitely uh, there's always room for improvement there's always uh, cha- there's always uh, something better we can do um but i believe def- india has full potential to become the next superpower it already has surpassed many countries in terms of gdp as well and there and uh, with india is- is known for the land of brightest minds and definitely i do believe india will uh, be at the forefront very soon as well okay and uh, what kind of skills and competencies are working behind this process you can have water uh, uh, no it's all right ma'am thank you ma'am could you just repeat your question please i i whatever you described are in terms of events no and situations that have been happening but what kind of skill set and competencies are working behind this process behind this process um definitely i believe uh, i'll i'll mention one thing india has uh, a lot definitely a lot of population and india is also uh, one some of the few countries that try to keep up with it as well with the growing trends uh, one example another i'd like to quote is the the how india is actually number one in terms of payments made through upi 
and uh, i think this technology is something india has really well crafted and mastered as well and uh, the the tech side of india has developed and advanced so much it is giving a competitive edge to uh, to the big bigger and more developed countries such as the us and the uk as well uh, so much so that the average uh, so that so much so as the uh, i read recently that the um, the amount of upi transactions done in the past year was as much as the us taxes paid by the citizens which i believe is shows how much of potential india has in that sector as well talking about the skills you mentioned um definitely there is a uh, still a gap in the rural and the urban sectors in the rural and the urban areas as well but in in terms in order to survive and not only survive but also thrive in such a fast paced world definitely keeping up with technology and uh, w- not only keeping up with technology but also improving basics such as communications business skill business acumen would uh, be the forefront skills required in order to weaponize our academic minds okay okay so the next question is you have mentioned that you have done some publications no you have published some some of your work so can you tell us briefly what kind of work it is and where it was published all right all right um i believe the the publication you are referring to is the think article i wrote with young india foundation okay. it was actually one of the first internships i did uh, straight out of school we were locked in a pandemic and i was looking for something to do um i joined the young india foundation as a content creator and researcher uh, i believe at that time uh, we uh, we had to uh, research more about the current political hap- happenings at the time uh, the content uh, article i wrote was published on uh, on medium.com as part of the under the young india foundation page uh but uh, since that was uh, before my collegiate years as well uh, i would like to elaborate a bit more on the personal research i've done during my college time as well uh, as i have mentioned previously i do enjoy the areas of machine learning and artificial intelligence and uh, for that i had done personal small research papers 1000 uh, word two papers uh, based on machine learning itself however it's uh, it's not published yet um uh, i do i do i do believe i'm under process for publishing those but uh, since it was a per- entirely a personal project i i will be working on it as i do my internship as well okay okay so um, what are your weaknesses and how do you deal with them what are my weaknesses um uh, definitely answering this question is one of my weaknesses i would be i would say but apart from that um uh, i believe uh, i sometimes take a lot of work load on me than is required or than i can handle because uh, i find it a little hard to say no in a professional setting i think that is one of the weaknesses that i have inculcated and i have experienced over the years um like i mentioned previously art of delegation was something that was that did not come to me naturally because um i wanted the work to be a certain way or i would empathize with the members and then i would take over their load so i i believe that is one main weakness because it is uh, caused me to overwork or overburden myself to the point where where i prioritize the work over for example spending time with my family or you know diverting time on something else productive which i could be doing that is one of the main weaknesses that i find uh, within myself i'm definitely trying to improve upon it but uh, let's see where that goes and another weakness i would like to mention is, is uh, sometimes i may be a little indecisive that does not mean to say that i am unsure about uh, what decision i will take eventually but it stems from me overthinking two different possibilities for example i have two choices in front of me i would overthink to the extent uh, for example i would first look at option a i would see how that would progress and what could go right what could go wrong then i would do the same with the other option hence it would uh, take me a lot of time to come to a solid conclusion which i am sure of i think that is something again i am working on definitely but it may um, cause me to slow down a bit in my operations okay so that's it if you can just briefly explain 
uh, something that you learned from the that uh, I A I E S C exposure, and uh, you know briefly maybe yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll try to keep it very brief. Um, from ISEC, uh, since it's an international organization, I had many calls with people uh, from, for example, ISEC in Japan or ISEC uh, different uh, local committee. That of- that is there in your CV. But what okay. what what have been your learnings out of that? Yes, definitely. I'm coming to that. Yeah. So, uh, for example, earlier I would be very timid in joining a video call i would be very conscious about turning my camera on or maybe how do i even interact with a person the most important learning that i have taken away from my journey in isec has been how to start conversations how to talk to people how to understand what their perspective looks like even if you're scared it's all right to push yourself out of your comfort zone i think that has been one major learning for me there were also many conferences that we attended and uh, when you spent half of your college life virtually when you've been in a lockdown for so long that you sort of have to put force yourself to go back into social interactions face to face it can feel very intimidating to suddenly be in a room with 300 p- students from all over india different parts of india actually having to put yourself out there and introduce yourself and maybe make some friends on the journey so um, uh, thanks to isec i have actually in I have actually hosted webinars. I've um, delved into public speaking. I've delivered conference spaces as well. And uh, I think it's a very invaluable experience, invaluable skill that I've gained along the journey or something that I have re-inculcated in myself, which I lost somewhere during the lockdown process. So uh, putting myself out there and just believing in yourself are the main things I took back from my journey. Okay. Thank you, Parleen. Thank you so much. That's it. Uh, you will cut the feedback. Uh, yes, sir. Done. So, Pali, first of all, uh, starting with the positives, I really liked your, uh, you know, attitude and the whole vibe was, you know, I think very, you took all the questions very supportingly and, you know, the vibe was very nice. So, I think that's a very positive point. Coming back to the feedback, see, uh, one, one of the most important questions that they ask you is why MBA? So the answer that I could get from you was that uh, in your particular field, uh, maybe the interaction level is not that much. That's why you're doing MBA, right? All right. Yeah. So, but I think I couldn't connect that, you know, if I have to do MBA, there are so many courses. Why particularly MBA and, you know, how it would help you? Like, why can't you, you know, in your own, uh, whatever specific industry you are in, why can't you, you know, have roles which can be more interactive or involving more peer interaction, right? Right. So, but I could get it. So I was not, you know, very much connected with the answer that why particularly MBA only that if you want to go in the field of MBA, there there are so many courses that would, you know, allow you to do the same on that, that is interaction. So why particularly you are choosing this field? So I think you can work on that, your answer. Also, uh, as I can see in every answer, you had, you know, a lot many anecdotes, examples to add on to. So it would be great. You can also add an impact. Impact as in, let's say that you took the role of a vice president or sales manager. How did it impact? Let's say that uh, before you, I was a sales manager and there was only 5% growth. And when you okay. became the manager, uh, because of all the initiatives, how you motivated people, this was the impact. So when you're, uh, you know, adding impact in your answer, that is becoming more powerful, right? Because now we know that uh, because of all this space that you use, this was also the impact that we see and those strategies really worked out. Hmm. So you can also add an impact value to your answers. Definitely. I, mm-hmm. I have a lot of anecdotes for those as well. I think I, uh, I, I'll i definitely do that. Yeah, sure. That's it from my end, Pali. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, yes, Pali. Deco, um, uh, overall, एक पॉजिटिव वाइब है एक कॉन्फिडेंस है एक गुड ओरेशन लेकिन कंटेंट में ऑल राइट ओके इट्स अ शैलो थिंग आप कैसे रीड करते हैं मतलब लेट्स से आप ये एक्सपीरियंस को इस मॉक को लेट्स इन द स्केल ऑफ 1 टू 10 हाउ डू यू रेट लेट्स से 10 बीइंग द हाईएस्ट I would rate it at five, sir, because I know mm-hmm. I I was very unwell. I wasn't able to prepare anything. I have a lot to share. Currently, I I believe uh, I wasn't able to put that across. Uh, I, I think like the positive vibe you mentioned, I I can bring that to all interviews. It's just I need to work on my content. I agree, sir. Look, um, 
Um, see the point number one. Um, hmm. Your points should be distinct and uh, discreet. All right. Two missing. I mean, uh, uh, points ko dhunna padta. You have to mine the points. All right. So that takes an effort actually. Um, hmm. If you are uh, putting your points, anything, anything it might be, hmm. then it should be very distinct and very discreet. I should be very clear what she said. Okay. okay. Uh, number two, uh, the best way um, for anyone to judge you uh, is to uh, look into your past. Okay. And then ask questions uh, regarding your past. Hmm. Uh, anyone can speak about the future. Let's say I, I'm, I will be the best. I, I will be the dash and dash. Hmm. But your future, your past actually is telling many things about you and you should be able to defend your past. If you have done, let's say, um, if I was a, um, uh, let's say, manager in any any place or anything, or if I, even if I have done a very small thing, let's say, I was a tutor, let's say. I was a tutor uh, making teacher for, let's say, one, one or two students only. But I should be able to defend that past of mine. Definitely. Or second point, maths, when anyone will look into your resume, the main thing which will come out is the computer science, maths. This is what things is com coming out. Mm -hmm. And uh, so obviously the questions will go to maths, computer science and all. So your hand should be very strong. Okay? You can go from anywhere. Uh, maths so you understand. Uh, when you are talking about 11, 12th and maths, with the calculus, differential, probability, you mm -hmm. so you should be able to defend it. Aapka that math skills check uh, okay. Many of the IMC agar aata hai, IMA aata hai, math skills pakka check hmm. Hmm. So, ba baaki it was fine. Mujhe haan, why MBA and all, mujhe clear nita. Lekin when you said product manager, then aapka future path was very clear. Future mujhe samaj aara tha ki how this product and uh, that thing are related. Wo was clear aara tha. Alright, okay. thank, thank you very much. Uh, that's it from, from my side. Hello. Yeah, uh, Dr. Okay. Yes. I, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, Parleen, uh, I'll start from where Vipul sir left. You should hmm. be able to connect your past hmm. with your future goals. All right. Th you know, That's for fine. that it requires a lot, some thinking actually. And hmm. then you should be able to relate like in the uh, way I you have, you are projecting, you want to project it in front of the panel, no? How you hmm. want to be seen? No, think about it, and then uh, evaluate your answers also uh, in in that light. And in terms of uh, you know your answers should you can elaborate. There is no problem in elaborating, but the main point should be very clearly, explicitly said in the beginning, so that the person need not uh, you know uh, hunt for it. Okay, all right. Understood. It should be it should be very obvious that this is what you want to say, and this is how you are. Other uh, other part is elaboration only that you can do, but don't go overboard in elaborating. Sometimes you know you have to take into account uh, uh, the uh, panel uh, panels span of attention also, right? Okay. You okay. should you should not uh, so for every point there is a place for everything in an interview, and you okay. should be able to you know look at that and then plan accordingly. So it yes. requires practice so that you you will be able to do. I'm sure. Uh, hmm. So, uh, and uh, use your hindsight in the past, whatever you have been your achievements, how you want to present it, no? How impressively best you can present it in minimum words, in uh, in, in an impressive fashion. And then uh, there should, they should, you know, the persons who are listening, they should be able to see a link in your journey. Like hmm. you started from here, now you are here and you plan to go there. Okay, it, this will create an impression. Okay. So th think about it, practice more, and then uh, work on content uh, building, like mm -hmm. your your own subject also. That is important. So uh, you, sh you should work more uh, re religiously on that and mm -hmm. try to give prompt answers and solutions. So that's it, I think. Definitely, I'll, I'll work towards that. Yes. Well, in one last point, I just want to make. Uh, yes. If Communicator, na, wo hota hai, wo nahi hota hai, jo ap uske, jiska apna communication sahi hota hai. Hmm. Ek good communicator wo bhi hota hai, uske ek aur aspect hota hai, wo dekhta hai ki jo sun raha hai, wo koon hai, aur uski kya situation hai. Ap example dete hain, 
let's say if I'm taking interviews and right now, let's say from morning till evening, I have to into 50 odd guys. Hmm. Okay. So just think about my situation. Okay. Yes, yes, so if you ask let's say if I ask a question and you put in a total essay to it. Hmm. Hmm. So just think about it. आप काफी गुड कम्युनिकेशन देखना है ना आप कभी देखिए जो ये लोग भाषण देते इवन अवर पॉलिटिशियंस वो एक एक पिच करके ना चेक करते हैं कि क्राउड कैसे रिएक्ट कर रहा है जैसे मैं एग्जांपल देता हूँ कि वो एक किसी पे जोक मारते हैं फिर देखते हैं कि हाउ द क्राउड इज रिएक्ट फिर वो उससे आगे बात करते हैं नहीं तो उन्हें पता है कि अगर ये क्राउड ने रिएक्ट नहीं किया है तो मुझे आप ये नहीं बोलना है मान लेते हैं कि मैं किसी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी के एक के बारे में मजाक मनाता हूँ एंड द क्राउड टोटल शट डाउन वो कोई आवाज नहीं आता है तो मुझे वो मजाक नहीं करना है दोबारा और अगर वो मतलब यूजली आप कभी भी एक कॉमेडी आर्टिस्ट या किसी भी आर्टिस्ट को देखेंगे ना वो पहले उनके चार पांच ऐसे पंचेस होते हैं कि वो देख लेते हैं कि क्या क्राउड है हम्म तो इसका मतलब क्या है कि वो दूसरे को समझ रहे हैं पहले अपना कम्युनिकेशन से पहले हम्म ठीक है वो आप देख ध्यान रखो मतलब आपके पॉइंट डिस्क्रीट डिस्टिंक्ट होंगे दूसरा पहले ही थका हुआ वो समझ लेगा अच्छे शी मेड इट गुड पॉइंट लेकिन वैसे अगर उसे माइंड करना है यहाँ तो हम माइंड कर रहे हैं ना वो नहीं करेंगे यस सर अंडरस्टैंड ओके दे डोंट नीड टू यस या फिर एक सीट के लिए सो कैंडिडेट खड़ा है उससे जरूरत नहीं है Uh, it was great talking to you uh, and great uh, meeting you all thank you thanks for coming thank you so much uh-